and here we have another paper or communication that is based on the same study, the same research, and in that case we analyze the students' essential characteristics for learning English in an intermedia modular model, so you can see the characteristics of the students. And in that case, the research purpose is uh, on the one hand to know students' essential characteristics, that's the main purpose of our research, as it's hard to say. And on the other hand, to improve education and especially like the learning uh, education. In that case, um, we just use a qualitative method, and again, it is based on the same grounded theory. So again, the, we can say that the theory emerged uh, and developed intuitively from research data and not intuitively from theoretical frameworks. And again, we can say that the process board analysis is dynamic and creative, so the data collection and analysis are carried out until we get the theoretical saturations uh, occurs. The population, again, is uh, the same students, so we have 451 students, and they are enrolled in a special course that is called for in language and is deducted one English, and the qualitative sample it is not probabilistic sample, cumulative and sequential. And it was born of 91 <coughs> students, 40, 45 uh, were men, and 46 were women, and their age were between 20 and 50, 58. All of them have finished their previous degree and they were working as you know. And most of them were in the area of education in primary and secondary schools. And the instrument one, once again, it was an instructor interview. The internal validity was achieved because we get the, the criteria of these authors. And related to reliability of the coding, uh, we, we we're working with 17, 16, 16 experts, and they were coding different parts of our unstructured uh, interviews. Um, we, we have a uh, very high agreement, an uh, agreement on 81%, so they, we can say that the encoding were really valid, and the high agreement between all the encoders determined that each category was part of our final team. Um, then we, we had a file work and um, we have done 91 interviews and it from different um, minds. Um, then the process of analysis, we followed the skin of my sign Huberman's and it was divided into three phases again. So in the first, sorry, in the first phase um, we had the data reduction, so we carry out the separation of e in different units. So for our interview, we choose the line as the separation unit because we want not to disturb the meaning of the final of our discourse or the meaning of the test. And then we follow the second phase of data display for of our data uh, collected and in different charts using a specific software for, for it. And finally, we present all the result, interpretation, and, and conclusions. The main result of our research um, is that based on the overall evaluation of the blended learning course, we can say that the majority of the students think or believe that one of the essential and the most important characteristics you want to study in a blended learning course is uh, to have a very, uh, or a competent computer skill because you have to use all the time technological tools, um, because you have to use a virtual platform, in that case we use Moodle, so it's necessary to have that good competence or digital competence of in the students. Um, here we can say that the other people, the, they think that for them, technological tools were a barrier of the learning because they don't have enough competence to carry on the activity that they have to do. So they consider that this barrier was bad and they, they got a bad grade at the end of the course because they prefer to do all the activity through traditional <coughs> words instead of using the technology. 
And our findings also indicate that the students believe that it was essential to have the capacity of working in, in different groups. Um, so in this kind of education, it is promoted collaborative learning and again the creation of a learning community in which a student have to have the ability to communicate <coughs> online um, with the participants of the teaching learning process through different asynchronous tools. And on the other hand, the students believe that the collaborative work reinforced <coughs> the need for strong interpersonal uh, skills, such as respecting uh, different opinions, or remaining reflexive and rejecting uh, teammates' contributions. Then, our students or participants also emphasize the necessity of being good organized, tenacious, and having a certain level of maturity they thought that it was important to determine in their studies from the beginning of the course. And they think that they have they, they have more independence so lead to a separation from the university environment and their study and leading to, to failures if the student did not follow through with their responsibility from the beginning of, of the course. The students also refer to the issue of maturity. And they think that the blended learning model was not appropriate for first year university students since they did not know how to manage the freedom, they, they have had the flexibility of this kind of education. So it's a better or a good kind of education just to study after you finish your first degree or after you have more spin or more maturity. <coughs> they, they also, and the last characteristic that they highlight, and we are doing an English course, even it is blended learning modality, so it is supposed that your level of English has to be very high. Um, if you don't have a high level in English, it's impossible to follow this kind of course because you have to be very independent. Even you, you are in contact with your teacher and you can send emails and you participate in different forums, you have to be very independent because you have to study by yourself. And so, when you don't have a good level in English, you have a very you are dependent on your teacher, and you don't have face-to-face -face lessons every day. So, the main conclusions of our study is that our students must have a good or computer skills or a good digital competence, and they have to master certain technological tools, asynchronous tools, and synchronous tools. And the consequence of not using these kinds of technologies is the isolation and they fail and they fail. So they feel alone. And students have to know how to self manage their learning as well as learning in a collaborative way and they have to share their opinion, share their words and respect the others. They must be organized and tenacious in their learning from the beginning. And in the case of the learning, learning education, that kind of education requires a high level of academic maturity. Mm -hmm. The work accomplished by a student in the blended learning course is more extensive than the work uh, in a course to face the instruction. So our students have to make a great effort when they study a blended learning modality because they have to do it by themselves. They don't have that they teach all the time with them to explain everything. You have to be more independent. And finally, and the most important at least in our studies, that students have to have a reasonable competence in English in order to be autonomous in the learning, a be independent. Okay? I'm pleased. Any questions?